I've just diverted a catastrophe there. I just nearly put a pig in that. Thank God I checked. So it'll be 2085 divided by 27, not 28. Let's try that again. Got 19 courses on. Looking good. Right, Saturday morning. Solo today. Alex is still at home, he's off today and tomorrow. The whole plan today is just get done what I can. Finish bailing out, which I started. Get a load of bricks loaded. Get a load of blocking. Basically try and get a lot of that drive cleared. Right, 20 to 12. Got the first lift all loaded. All set, drying out. Got a load of block done. And brought a load in to throw up onto the trestles. There's a few left by the van, but I've had enough. It's, the, it's good weather, so I need to get brick lane now. So 20 to 12, going to have my dinner, have a quick dinner. Get a mix in and, and do a bit on this end. Just put a big return on this side. Pull it right down, because I'll have profiles each end. Profile. Profile. And then just corner block back to the door reveal there. So I'll measure that and then I'll divide it by 28 and that'll be my gauge at this end. That's what we did on the last one. These beds are a bit up and down but we'll get ours uniform, get them all the same. Uh, yeah, so like I said before, that's our date and we're working off that. Everything's level now for slab. Slab is dried out nicely, blocks are drying out nicely. We always stack them like this so you can get a finger between and they dry out in no time. I've just bought a 50 quid heater from Screwfix, heater blower to dry the bricks out and they're not even that wet. I was just about to start now, got my trowel full of mortar, put it back, measured it, 2085 to the top, so it's 15 mil low if you like, and divided that by 28, 28 courses, which gave me 74.5 so we're losing half mil per course but then I've just been looking at it they're big beds then I'm thinking they're small bricks so before I started I've just counted and for some bizarre reason there's 27 courses now standard 2.1 2.1 lintel height at 75 mil beds is 28 courses. That's, the, that's your standard thing. So I've just checked now and it's 27 courses. So I've just diverted a catastrophe there. I just nearly put a pig in that. I just nearly put 28 courses at this end down to 27 on the house. Oh my God, thank God I checked. So I've got to recalculate now. I've got to recalculate 2085 divided by 27 not 28 and before I do that I'm going to count again just to double check and triple check but if you look they are big beds on the house that's the clue so if if the key to this story is if something doesn't look quite right double check it don't assume anything so I'm going to go back and check again and make sure but I'm pretty damn certain that's 27 courses so that means we're going to have to drop this to 27 courses and adjust it so we're probably looking at 76 mil per course now, or thereabouts, but I'll work it out anyway. So it'll be 2085 divided by 27, not 28. Let's try that again. And I'm back. 77.2 per course. So it's um, a couple of mil per course, bedding up. And then it gets, gets rid of that course then. That's mad, that. That's like a standard thing, 28 courses. That's a weird gauge they built there, unless they, they built this four to a foot, which is where you used to back in the 80s. But it, it messes you, you end up with big beds on your block. Because of that now, it's nine cores of block in the inside, no cores of brick. There's no um, coursing brick to bring it up. So it's just nine straight courses. Thank God I checked that. So always make sure you double check yourself, and I'll triple check that. So big beds now, so let's crack on.
about that. I don't know how much that time that's picked up, but we're in three courses up. Two then as we go. Um, I've come to bring the brickwork over the top and the frame doesn't work. We've worked to the block work that I've set out and the bricks must be bigger now because um, I can't get this to work. Brick. If we work to that frame now, we're going to have a, three, a tiny bit to cut off every brick. So we'll have to disregard that and just let Robbie know for, for um, ordering the window. The doors, hopefully, he's not ordered them yet. But we're, it's about 15 mil too big, that. We just can't get it to go in at 15, 20. Uh, 17, 20. Yeah, so four courses up. Three courses up onto the fourth course. So um, I don't know what time it is now. It's probably about quarter past three. So I just need to get this mix used up so I can get going. Uh, yeah, so catch you in a bit. There we go. We've got eight on this end, the other side of the door. And a big long rack, rack out there. That's going to come up because we're going for about 19 courses. That means we could square this up and drag it back. So we're all loaded out, all the jackets are on because it's always raining lately. Drives tidy, got rid of some rubbish. So yeah, get this mixer cleaned out and get out of here. And actually go up the road to another job to have another look at the job. Look at another job before I go and get my tea at Sarah's. So yeah, getting a bit more organised now. That slab makes a massive difference, just having that there, just to store stuff on. So we're going to leave the profiles up, just throw some hessian over it so it's not obvious that it's there. And yeah, um, back Monday hopefully to crack on. Let's see what the weather's like. It's forecast another shitty week, but we'll have to see what we can do. Uh, we've got uh, we've got those lintels to go in, which we have to go and swap. Uh, swap 4b3s for 6b4s and if it's bad weather we can always do the inside one so yeah that's it for now I'm going to get this mixer done and get out of here see you in a bit yeah strong not feeling on the GoPro he's back Hi. No, that's just uh, like saying, hello GoPro, wish you were here. Yeah. Uh, talking to GoPro, it's Monday morning, 25th of October, about quarter past eight. 2021. Oh, no. If you look, if you, if you zoom out when you're filming. Oh, that's cool. Much better. Anyway, yeah. So we're back, full squad again. Um, Alex is back on planet Earth. <laughs> Nearly, correctly, literally. Yeah, so mix, mix is in, as you saw at the weekend, everything's loaded. Alex just got the rest of the block in, so we can bring the van up. And lovely, t lovely tidy drive there. We've got bricks, ton and a bit of sand, and our insulation, and that's it. The drive, we're getting it steadily clean. I've, I've, moved, I've got rid of all the rubbish, so it's a nice clean site. Uh, yeah, so we're ready to go. Hopefully the GoPro is getting delivered this afternoon. We've got the GoPro 10. So, can't wait to give that a go. Hopefully I'll get here in time to film today. There we go, that's um, the door side up. Took that up a little bit extra on the um, to the top of the profile. So we've only got five left on that, and three toothers. Nice and tidy, toothing in. 
and then this probably could have got extra course here but I didn't rack it out far enough so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's about eighteen off damp. Traditional scaffold height. So I'll actually just need to start on the next bit. And I've jumped, I've jumped down with it now because that's all done. We're gonna get to take the rest off the trestle, so that's gonna be eight course to lintel height. So there's eight left on that, five left on that, and a lot left on this. Uh, 26 left on here. So I'll try and get, try and set the cam, the phone up for a time lapse somewhere. Right, 20 past five. Alex is covering everything up. So, um, we're all loaded here. We're all loaded here for this, this side. There's our window height, it's quite high. 13 courses, I think. But that might be adjusted tomorrow. And then it's a three course pillar up there. So, we're just leaving all that down so we've got access in. So, we're on the block work tomorrow. Assuming it doesn't pour down, like you can see, it's gone in. Got 19 courses on. Looking good. These bricks have gone downhill for quality though. They, they're very, they're not flat, they're like got bends in them and twists and as usual nothing's nothing's as good as it used to be. And it's the oh, there's the uh, doors with the nice bit of tooling. So we've probably got we've got five courses there. Square that up. Eight for the rest of that wall. Window, return, wall, return to the door. I think there's about 200 nod in that. Uh, there's only 20 in that. And about 120, no 160 in that front bit. And then all the block work. And then we've got two lintels to put in there. I'll show you the lines. There's one line there, there's the centre where I've drilled through to mark it, and the other line is there. 
yeah, two concrete lenses go in there. Um, two point ones, which we'll have to swap because they sent four by threes instead of six by fours. So yeah, we're in. We're done. Long hard day. We've got plenty done there. Always nice to see a bit of brickwork go up after all that digging and concreting. Mm, just for anyone who says we don't put tie wires in. There you go. Tie wires galore. And there you can see the uh, the plugs. For the screw ties. So there you have it. Back tomorrow, let's see what we can get done. So, and back tomorrow, back on the GoPro. The, the Hero 10's got delivered today, so back on the new camera tomorrow. Looking forward to that. So see you in the next one.